Hi Libras, welcome to your video today on Libra Light. We are going to see what the general energy is and what it is, what comes out for you. <laughs> Got ahead of myself there. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to do a little bit of a slower, relaxed reading today with fewer cards. I hope this resonates and if it doesn't, check your moon sign, check your rising sign as well. Okay, whatever comes out, let's see what you got. I have a pre-shuffled deck here already. I did multiple shuffling many, many times. Let's see what's at the top. We have the Fool, Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Pentacles for the first three energies. So we got something brand new here. Let's work it down the line. We have something brand new here, Majestic card. And as you see, the knapsack, the classic one, when she goes on a journey, brings you back to zero. Something feels fresh here today. Could be a new feeling, a new day, like you're painting your canvas a new color type of deal. Okay, I see that energy for you. Also, they're Aries, okay? Aries could be significant to some of you. Almost matches my shirt there. So let's start with the Wheel of Fortune. This is fixed sign energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. And uh, the last one is Scorpio. <laughs> I always forget the four. This means something is going in your favor, okay? You could be walking today with a new step type of thing, better attitude, feel good. Some of you could be exercising to get those vibrations up, up, up. So we see the Wheel of Fortune here. Could it be love? Could it be finances? We're going to clarify with our other favorite deck here. Oh, you have another Aries card at the bottom. We'll check in with that in just a little bit. For your third energy, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. It is the slowest moving knight in all of the tarot, all of the 78 cards. So here it is a female energy. You don't have to be, of course, and she's journaling something that she sees in the woods. One more time. So she's journaling. She's looking off into the far distance. She's also wearing all her armor. This is a graduation card for you today. You have graduated from some type of past pains. Could have been a breakup that was very recent. Could have overcome some things that you're just keeping to yourself for the time being. So we got some slow energy and that's okay because you could be resting. That's also some rest for the Knight of Pentacles. Also, you could be in this fool energy with the Aries, okay? Aries card. Let's give it a good shuffle here. You have an Aries energy too at the bottom there with an emperor. For some reason, I feel like we should keep this into the story. It might weigh here as a factor. So let's see why is Libra starting a new beginning. And Capricorn is also going to have a reading too today. So if you're a Capricorn rising or a Capricorn moon, please stay tuned to that because it will have oracles for love. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay, sorry, I touched the screen. Let's see what the Fool is all about. Show me the Fool energy. Thank you. Show me the Fool energy. Angels and guides. Why is the Fool here? Give me some descriptors. Thank you. One more. Thank you. So the three that clarify your Fool card here are the King of Wands. You have the Queen of Cups. Okay, a little bit of emotions going into this. That's completely fine. And we have the Hermit. Some of you chose to walk away from an incident rather recently, and what this is showing me is you're fine being the hermit, okay? Now, the problem with the hermit is it's deep introspection, and it's a lot of overthinking that Libras don't need. So today, try to be the hermit, but enjoy yourself. Get out. See some sun, okay? Another clarifier of that is the King of Wands. You are possibly dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. They could have some influence in your life. They could be influential as well. And I feel like this is a love person, okay? We see the Queen of Cups. Again, we're dealing with new emotions. It could just be that you see new horizons and you're feeling it out, okay? But we also, you know, this tends to refer to the past as well with the Queen of Cups, Scorpio. So that's in your new energy there. Let's look at the Wheel of Fortune for you. This was the next card we're going to clarify. What is the Wheel of Fortune exactly about? Let's get to the brass text. What's the Wheel of Fortune here? Please and thank you. All right, you got two flippers. I'm going to gently stop. You have an offer coming in, Ace of Pentacles, possibly from somebody who loves you, okay, um, or is gaining feelings over time. I'm getting like this unsure energy, okay, from an either Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It can be another Libra. I'm also getting, I feel intuitively, it's also a Pisces coming through here. There's some type of offer that they'd want to present to you, okay? But I do think that there's some thinking here and possibly overthinking with the new person as well. Maybe something happened in the last 48 hours between the two of you if you have someone already Libras, okay? 444 four, four on the clock, stability. <laughs> so let's look at this Knight of Pentacles. Let's see why you're a little sluggish today, okay? Maybe a little slow deciding something. Show me this uh, Knight of Pentacles, please. Thank you. Oh, wow. 
thank you, a little bit more so that they can see this in their thoughts and I can explain it. Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you are going ahead, being single and focusing on yourself. He's looking at the watermelon. Some people think this is a very selfish card. It isn't. It's actually paying attention to your abundance and actually being smart about it. We do see the Eight of Cups. What did I tell you? I felt that you walked away from a very recent incident, probably because it's best for you. Okay. I do want to clarify this Eight of Cups because for some reason it is pointing to me that the Four of Wands has involvement with it. You could have left a long time marriage. You could have left a commitment. And now there's some feelings of thinking about that. Okay. But you did walk away. You did. Eight of Cups. We have the Five of Cups. There is somebody that is in high regret. Okay. They can be thinking of you today. They might be looking over the story again and giving it a second look. 555, five, five, I just saw on the clock. There are signs, okay, that are coming through in your reading. A lot of them are just single numbers repeating. We do see the Four of Pentacles as I look on the viewfinder. This person is the Five of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. I don't think this is you. You do have the full energy to rev your engines and basically start over. So this is good for you. You start back at zero with the fool. There's an Aries influence here with the Emperor and that, okay? Now, for this person in regret, the Four of Coins, we're going to go in hard here and clarify it, but they could be a Cancer, okay? And this is movement energy, so it could be movement to speak with you, it could be movement to talk to you. If you haven't heard from them either, we're going to find out here in clarification what's actually going on, okay? Show me the Cancer energy in the Four of Pentacles now. Thank you. Seven of Swords. Sorry to report, but it's here. Seven of Swords, what else? All right. So we have the King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This person could have wanted stability in the past with you. And the Ten of Pentacles is here to say, I also wanted family. I also wanted celebration. I did want to celebrate life with you. Okay. Brass text again of the card. However, the Seven of Swords here, it does give me like, you know, who doesn't Seven of Swords Libras anymore? It's very common now with us. We get the Seven of Swords at least twice a week. So I do want to look at that. Um, and I don't mean to laugh. I just think that this is energy that has been repeating, especially with our last few videos. So King of Cups, Seven of Swords, who is this possible water sign um, in strategy mode, you know, with our T-Rex card? Who is this, please? Please and thank you is somebody spying. Okay, someone thinks you have choices, Libra. We have two sevens here, seven of pentacles and seven of cups. Somebody thinks you have choices, okay? Somebody feels like you are no longer looking at them as a choice. So it's kind of like a boo-hoo energy. Show me the seven of cups, please. Show me for the higher good of Libra. What's going on? Why is this person thinking this way or what's happening? The Hierophant. Because... There's a higher commitment here that they feel that they could be either themselves, commit to you now. There's a turning back of the car. And I've been telling you guys this in our last few readings. This person sees the caliber and the quality of what their relationship could have been. I do think it's too late because this was them in the past with you. Okay? It's just a little too late. So let's see here. Hierophant energy. Show me the Hierophant feelings, please, and emotions. There's two in my hand. Did you see that? Oh, so fast. The Six of Swords and the Two of Wands. The issue with the Two of Wands is that there's a person here that has tried to make choices in the past with you, okay? Decision bearer. Also, we do see the Six of Swords, and so this is wanting to heal a situation where both of you definitely get clarification over the situation. For some of you, this was already well fought, okay? Um, hard won. Like some of you already feel like you've overcome this. And I do get this energy because the fool is here, okay, as your major arcana card for today, that somebody's overcome something and maybe the past is just in review at this time. I'd like you to take um, a step today, Libra, and really think about your four of wands, hierophant person. I think this is the higher message of the reading is what things do they need to have? What things do they need to carry forward, okay, to make you a happy person as well? I'm going to wrap it there. Nine minutes in. Thank you, guys. You had amazing cards today. It's okay if you're in this Knight of Pentacles, this slow-moving energy, because it could be waiting for some news, okay? Or um, it could be possible advices from people coming in, too. I take that card as a, a rest energy. Thank you, guys. I will see you in Capricorn's reading as well. See you later.